Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing. Um, and please continue to motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. I will really, really appreciate You can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Head there, become friends with us, say hi. We'll say hi back or feel free to suggest stuff there if you're too shy to suggest anything uh, down below here. Check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that we actually put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Muhammad Hijab versus a very funny woman. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Uh, a question uh, for Pratik Okay, Jam. yeah, a question for uh, uh, Mohammed Hijab. Yeah. Uh, you, sir, have been uh, complaining that David Wilk uh, mocked Muslims. Sorry? You have complained that Mr. Wood have mocked Muslims. Yeah. And you have been mocking him all night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. My question goes around to authority. You have been attacking the authority of Christians. On which authority we base our faith on Trinity? Sorry? You've been attacking the authority on which they base the Trinity. Yes. Okay. And you seems like you believe in church more than Christians do. And let me tell you why, because you ask for church authorities, church scholars, Christians who have somehow in certain time talked about uh, the Trinity. Let me tell you and teach you something about Christianity tonight. Uh -oh. I'm willing to learn from you. Our authority, number one, is Jesus Christ. So when we cite scriptures, we're citing a lot more than Augustine that you worship. Okay. Okay. Can you put the question? Mr. Wood clearly? said, uh, Genesis 1:26. A woman can speak uh, here, right? Can a woman speak here? Very funny. Of course, you can speak here as a woman. It is a seminar oriented by Muslims. Not a Christian church. Um, is okay, so I'm sorry, uh, let, her, let her pose a question. Go ahead. Genesis 1 26 yeah. says, Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness. And 27 says, So God created mankind in his own image, in the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God is speaking by himself. Sorry, what okay. was the verse? He's plural. Question? Say and again. he calls himself him. Where's the so, yeah. either you believe in Genesis, no if you believe in Moses, on, which wrote the Genesis, Yo. or you don't believe and you're a bad Muslim too. <laughs> um, okay. Um, and there goes the question yeah. to authority Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. of your faith. I want to understand how is that you claim authority on Mohammed yeah. who had a, yeah. in, among multiple wives a wife Aisha yeah. according on, to some six years old according to others settle nine. down please please settle down I want to understand I want to understand because because I've heard him before in a video. Excuse, excuse me, excuse me, miss. You either ask a question. This is not a debate. Yeah, you're not, a, you are not debating. You either ask a question yeah. or you leave. That's my answer. That's my answer. You either ask a question or you leave. Thank you very much. Okay. No, no. No, no. Uh, actually, behind you. No, no. Behind am, I, am I not going to answer oh, no, a question? No, can, no, no. can I can I answer a question? Actually, before before that happens, we have Mr. Hajab. He wants to answer the question. You know. Yeah. 
uh, why do I'm why do why am I firm and assertive with David Wood? It's because he spent 20 years of his life mocking Muslims and Islam, accumulating more than 50 million. 60 million channel views attacking Muslims in Islam, which has led to brothers and sisters of mine being attacked on roads in this country, exacerbating Islamophobia. This man is not going to get a nice treatment from me. He's not going to get it. This guy is not James White. This guy is not William Lane Craig. This guy is not respectable. So he will not be treated with respect. Now, he, now just because your boy was smashed, to use Khabib's words, it doesn't mean now that you're, you're going to give me a... Uh, uh, can yes. you please settle down? Please settle yes. down. Yes. Now, point number two. Point, yeah, point number two. She mentioned many things. Multiple wives. Well, look at the, look at the Old Testament, please. You, so you'll talk about the Old Testament. Abraham had three wives. Solomon had 300 wives. But, but, I mean, look. You're very lucky that Islam capped it at four because if it was in Solomon's time, there would be 300. Now, really and truly now, I don't understand why, why you must be very upset with me like this. I mean, why were you not upset with David Wood when he was mocking the Muslims for, for, for 10 years? Why? You're a hypocrite. You, miss, are a hypocrite. Okay. Get the next question. Okay, Mr. Hijab. Like, share, and subscribe to create awareness. We are also available on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and PalTalk. He makes a very, very valid point. Why not get upset with David Wood when he mocks the Muslims, but when it's the Muslims mocking Christians, you want to react? That's not uh, being... I'd love to say that's not being right. Where is the humility in everything? Like why humans are supposed to... I don't know. I feel like in this day and age we should be more understanding. I don't see why we have to pull one down to make ourselves feel better. Or pull the other one down to prove a point. Prove a point according to whatever you believe. Don't bring in the other people that don't are not saying anything, you know. I'm guessing I missed the debate to this. It's question and answer time. Fine, that's okay. But then, um, I don't see. And then there's a verse that actually shows on the screen. But then they didn't give you. They this video didn't. This video did not give it enough time for me to actually read everything. It was talking about um, about women not being able to speak. Uh, that's that's new that's something i've never seen come from the bible that's that's just wow i don't even know what to say about that that's what i'm saying we should really be understanding in the in the world that we live in today because look at us a female can sit in the in front of a camera and speak look at this situation a woman was allowed to speak and women have been allowed to do a lot of things so i don't i don't know where she was going at that point i really don't know I feel like these debates or whatever it is are there to teach us one or two things not to prove that yes my religion is better than yours because I, I don't think it would make sense to me I always want to know what this side is saying what the other side is saying and where the errors how does this come in on this issue how does this other one also deal with the issue to see what i can apply in my own life but if we're just going to be ignorant and focus on just debating people moving with this pressure to constantly challenge people constantly overlook what people are saying then we're going to miss out a lot in life we're going to miss a lot in life because look at the two dudes they're just there seated chilled waiting for people to ask questions or contribute positively to what they experienced during this debate but i guess um i don't know don't be so blinded by your faith that you can't say anything or contribute to something that may be important for the future generation your children your children's children you know because 
maybe they'll watch this maybe they have watched this and then what what do we want people to learn from this and um i don't know otherwise like I said, I will always, always, always respect both sides. I'm always willing to learn. And I love it when people correct me without making me feel small. Without having to just do the most. Let me know what you guys actually think about this video. Um, I think that's all my comments. I hope I haven't missed anything else I wanted to talk about. Because I can't, I'm just amazed by how this turned out. So let me know your thoughts down below. If there's anything you want me to react to, please motivate me by giving me that thing. The name of whatever video you want me to react to or the link down below, I'll react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.